Now I did a little soul searching for this little video. It definitely took a lot of inspiration to find this because I was looking through everywhere and every place trying to think of something I could say interesting. Well, I did find my topic and I think it's probably one of my more interesting topics because while it's easy to critique social issues and things like that or I could just go back to fiction this time I wanted to take it a step ahead and I have a tumblr account and we all know that for the most part I'm on there a lot I'm a big fan of tumblr and I like it because if you like something in fiction, you're gonna find a lot of other people that like that same fiction or franchise, band, whatever it is, you'll find that. And you're gonna find some shit that's really funny too, so it's perfect if you wanna put some shit up on Facebook. Problem is that a lot of the things on Tumblr are either to fit somebody's page, somebody's theme. And somebody's sometimes these little themes are really dark and depressing I'm inspired I got the inspiration for my video back in September out of this the one about pain and pleasure and how everyone is in tumblr has this general attitude of that they're not getting what they want and that the less they care the less they'll be disappointed I didn't like that mentality that people were starting to fear disappointment that the standards of life have gone down and while it is better than the I want it all but I don't want to do anything for it appearance there is a sort of depression going on in tumblr and you can see it now in the right we make fun of a lot of the weird stuff that happens within Hold on, thank you. We make fun of a lot of stuff that happens within Tumblr, the uh, dice scum. You will Thank you. You will pretending that they transcended their normal ethnicity without actually going to a different place. Like some people like, I remember this trans ethnicism thing, and those could be troll pages. I know a lot of troll pages in Tumblr. They're great for a laugh. However, I feel like we should, with all the little advancements in the technical leftism, I call it technical leftism because it, no, I wouldn't call it technical, but extreme. It's really taking it to a step I never saw. But one thing that really bothers me it doesn't really have to do with a social issue. What, and this isn't mean of bones of this video. What really bothers me is the self harm videos. And usually you get these where they link to a YouTube video and you're supposed they try to pressure you to reblog this. If you don't reblog this, just reblog this. I don't care what kind of page you have, reply this is inspirational and usually what it is is it's someone that cuts their wrists and they make a video saying, Well I moved past that, I'm stronger now, I'm a better person and these are usually cluster B personality displays. However, I think the issue goes past that. See not only is it seen as inspirational that someone just started cutting their wrists and they're past that. But it's seen as deviant not to see this as an inspirational sign of growth. Now life is going to kick your ass and sometimes you're going to want to kill yourself. Especially in this day and age and that's really fucked up to say but that's the nature of life. You are either alive or you're dead. You, you you can't be both. You can't be this third thing. You're either living or you're dead. 
And if you don't like living, then maybe you're going to like being dead. I mean, if you don't like being dead, you're going to have to like being alive. That's the nature of this world. And while well, that's justifiable, what this is, is it's displaying intense borderline personality, cluster B personality disorders. And it's more than just that. It's also displaying this like I said, if you don't think this is inspirational, then there's something fucked up about you. That you're an asshole because you don't think that there's anything wrong with this. That everyone is making this kind of video. And I'll be honest, I don't think I can last five minutes watching their videos because the tone of their voice is really kind of fake and everything. There's just this lack of sincerity in it all. And even if it is sincere, even if it is coming from real emotions, what kind of emotions are they displaying? Good emotions or bad emotions? And a lot of people on my side of the fence really go a lot harder on these people. They actually go to their page, respond to their comments saying, well, this is kind of fucked up. And at first, I was kind of indifferent to it. But now that I'm soul searching for new ideas for new videos, yeah, I can tell that this, is, this isn't self-improvement. Wanting to hurt yourself repeatedly in an addictive way. Then moving on to showing the world so you can get some protection, approval. So that you can feel strong and protected because somebody else is protecting you out of sympathy. That's kind of, that's kind of horrifying actually. But this is the world that we were born in. And until we die, this is this is what we're gonna have to deal with, and I don't think it's gonna get any better. It's only gonna get worse. <sighs> What's an inspirational story for me? An inspirational story is somebody that's hit rock bottom, but has decided to legitimately ascend, not through not through empowerment, but through hard work. Kung Fu in a way, and just those kind of things, that's, that's the mark of real strength for me, and the sad part is that it's a hard mark to find nowadays, but like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll be sure to look for more subjects similar to this. Honestly, I feel like I identified something, but I didn't really evaluate and go into deeper analysis for this. I just want you guys to basically see what I've noticed and hear what you think.